Hello and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to sync Gusto with QuickBooks Online. Gusto does have their own support article for that. So if you're watching my video and it doesn't quite make sense, I went ahead and brought up the page for the Gusto support article to show how they do it. I'm right now in the dashboard or what I see when I log into my Gusto account. I'm going to sync my Gusto with my QuickBooks. So right now I have just the dashboard telling me to run my payroll. On the left hand side of the screen is app directory. I'm going to go ahead and go to app directory. I, this is popular apps. That's really cool. I think what I'll do is I'll just make it easy on myself and search for QuickBooks. I'm going to sync this to my QuickBooks online. I am going to click connect on the right hand side. Because I'm an accountant user of QuickBooks, I have to indicate what my firm is called and then the business within my firm. That's what you see here. Quick side note, many other accountants or bookkeepers, if you're watching this, you'll click on install for your firm. Um, and then if you're a small business owner watching this, you may not have to do this at all. You might just log in, have access to one QuickBooks file, and then click go. So if this doesn't apply, don't worry about it. I'm going to go ahead and select next. All right, so this is saying that it wants to connect, and I'm like, yep, that's the, my whole point. I'll select connect. What I need to do now is map my accounts. Basically, here's the things that Gusto knows it might be presented with, and Gusto wants to ask me where to put that within my QuickBooks file. So when Gusto knows it's taking money out of my bank account, Gusto says, which bank account is your bank account in QuickBooks? I'm going to go ahead and select on bank account. And then over to the right, I'm going to select my bank account. So in my case, it comes out of my Bank of America. The first category is bank account. Over to the right, it, when I click on this drop down, I'm presented with a list of checking accounts. I'm going to go ahead and select the checking account that applies to this situation. For the second section, I have wages and salaries. When I click on it, it'll expand. Gusto is asking me which account on my chart of accounts to use for each of these categories. To get through this video, I'm just going to choose payroll expense. The reason I'm doing this is that I didn't set up the accounts in my chart of accounts that I would want. And so I thought, well, I'm already in motion. I'll get the video done. I'll go back and change this. No big deal. So let's just do all this real quick. So I, I ran into a, a little issue and I thought, my goodness, if I'm not the only one, I'll just show you real quick. Right here, it says employer tax zero of one mapped but I have entered payroll tax. What I didn't do and discovered that I do need to do is to click on it. So if you do what I did where you copy and paste, just make sure you use the mouse to select the account. You'll know everything worked when it says number of number mapped. Okay, so I have all of my mapping correct. And so I said, okay, Gusto, when I tell you to sync to QuickBooks and when you auto sync to QuickBooks, I would like you to use these accounts that I have selected. Later, if I change my accounts, it won't update the historical, but it'll update going forward. I've already run one payroll cycle. I need that to sync to my QuickBooks so that I don't have to manually enter stuff. If this happens to you, I'll show you how to do that. On the left hand side of your screen, click on payroll, go to payroll history. Go to the right, click view details to select the payroll that you've already run. At the top of your screen, Underneath regular payroll summary, QuickBooks Online ready to sync. I can click on sync and it says it's synced to QuickBooks payroll. From here, if I want to verify that my payroll synced correctly, I can go over to my QuickBooks Online tab that I had open previously. I can go to the left hand side and click on plus new. I can click on journal entry. In the upper left hand corner, I can click on the clock next to the word journal entry. It'll show me my historical entries. I see one called journal entry number Gusto. I can click on journal entry number Gusto. And now I can see the journal entry that Gusto has sent over 
using the accounts that I had previously selected. If I change my mind about the accounts, they're really easy to edit right here. I'm going to go ahead and click cancel and just show you one other way to get to the journal entry. You don't need to do both. In fact, you don't even need to do either. If you want to verify that it came in, a second way to verify is to click on the magnifying glass in the upper right hand corner. And this will show recent transactions, including the Gusto transaction that just got synced over to your QuickBooks. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions or if there's anything my team and I can help you with, please don't hesitate to let us know. We offer bookkeeping, catch up cleanup recurring, as well as training for your QuickBooks needs. Thank you so much and have a great day.